she is now running. And oh my god, is she smooth? Look at this. A, a performance, you know, from a loco just, you know, taking its just first, well, you know, first few moves. I'll get a run in. And uh, next video, of her will be pulling these coaches here, hopefully. I know they're kind of um, getting in the way of our class 37 here. But just until from, D7 uh, Triple O is fully running. Which I'll be doing over these next few days. Just, just look absolutely fantastic. Just the performance is fantastic. I'm very, very impressed with Helgen already. She, 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 well, it seems to make a bumping sound whilst going over the points rather, um, rather visibly heard. But as long as she doesn't die or derail on them, and it's, it, it, you know, it's actually I've listened carefully, you know, you know, the realistic t -t 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 sound, uh, to be honest. Barely a any. Yeah, you you may have just had a t -t 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 slight there. <laughs> I nearly, I nearly, I nearly uh, well, spoke, I was just going to say, there's right there. barely any motor noise at all. Oh, well, I know with diesels, for example, like Lima, you know, they're noisy, but, um, you know, um, often can sound more, you know, more realistic, you know, have more of a diesel thrum to them. So in my original camera was, um, again, uh, yes, you know, well, this one is more simple, easy to use, press button to zoom in and out, whereas the other one was, um, you know, touch touch sensitive system which is more futuristic yes but it didn't always work first time I mean it was one of the reasons why there was a lot more well m more shaking going on with the with the other camera at times but again if I, I might have already said that camera has just completely ceased to function now and um, yeah you know it hadn't been used for a while but is that an excuse for it to completely cease to work now as you may have already noticed we haven't got any lights um, I'm pretty sure if it was on the uh, Olivia's trains. Um, it was, was it, is it, I don't know, it's Helgen themselves. So again, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure it said that additional working lights, I think. Um, yeah, yeah, pretty sure it says um, that only available and if it's decoder fitted only. Which, if that's true, a bit of a shame. I would have liked lights, but oh well, it's just. We're well, waiting well, the majority of these locos I have. Do have lights of Hornby and Well, there was like, um, yeah, most of you've probably seen it before, a bit of like a little bit of wire in the extras bag in there, you know, which uh, um, is it, I don't know, something to do with if, if you can DCC chip it. Again, this is my first time with Helgen, so I may have been wrong in a few bits, so you, you're gonna have to correct me. You know, I don't know the company that well. Well, Bob and Brand. I suppose no lights does add a little bit of realism for running in the daylight, I guess. <laughs> And where, where, you know, with my locos, which have lights anyway, you know, it, you know, you can barely see them in the daylight unless I do night runnings. Which are often a little bit too dark sometimes. All you see is just a light coming towards you. And yeah, those drain. couplings are definitely in place, okay. And I eventually do find some space for the box, but it is, it is getting pretty limited now. But I may have more space one day, I guess. And, well, in terms but, of a horn behind mech, I think the one you're most likely to get hold of now. Well, well a pretty old second-hand one, really. Um... I don't know what what is so what from eBay or if there's one for sale at like a railway fair or um, probably a, a new one would be yeah 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 there's a Thomas range one isn't there yeah 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 pretty sure it's a high mech can't remember what the character's called but I would just go straight to Helgen if you want top detail and top running again if I've got anything wrong I do apologise again I'm, I'm just starting to properly get to know the brand now okay she's been running in for about um. 15-20 minutes now before I run it in the other direction. Let's just have a look at her low speed running. Well again it might get better as she gets running, but let's just see how it is at the moment. Looks like she might she might have to be running a bit more to get it more get it more uh, better. Um hang on a second. Pretty realistic enough, I mean that's good. Finally, here she's running the other way. Very, very impressed indeed. So that's Helgen Hymek.
D7 triple O, BR green with yellow ends. Thank you all for watching.